the last resort option, you scrub, get gowned up, and then you're ready to go. This surgery is way more physical than I was anticipating. Cutting through this, I don't even know what I could find. I go to pin it into place, and I see the toe flop back completely. And I'm like, the bone could be ripped through by the wire. There's always a challenge. Did something break? The drill broke. There's Dr. Vincent. Hi. <laughs> Good morning, Jeff from Las Vegas. How are you? <laughs> I am doing great. I am such a fan of yours. I've watched this show since the very beginning. Oh, good. <laughs> and uh, it's such, uh, I, it's indescribable <laughs> to tell you the truth at times. But something that always is on my mind, every doctor has that moment to choose their specialty. And you <laughs> must have an interesting story to choose feet. I mean. Right. Well, you know, they make you choose podiatry before you actually commit to going to podiatry school. And I think that that's for a reason, because they want to make sure you've had your shadowing hours. They want to make sure that you are absolutely certain that you can handle this. <laughs> um, you know, I, the reason why I chose, I did want to do surgery. I started off wanting to do orthopedics. I had bilateral knee surgery myself, so I was not a stranger to having that experience with my orthopedic, physical therapist, all of that jazz. Um, and I found the field of podiatry because I really liked the hands-on approach with surgery, but also there was that, that life balance that I could have. Um, and so with podiatry is the best of both worlds, uh, albeit it is, it is a little bit, you know, tough on your stomach at times, but I feel like during the training process, you know, your stomach is tough as nails. <laughs> well, I was going to say, nothing seems to surprise you. I was just watching this season's trailer and I was literally almost passing out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's 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 getting a little bit higher stakes you know in season one it's like okay this is shocking but i could, it's doable season two was kind of like yeah it's, it's, it's still pretty bad season three is even a little bit worse <laughs> in terms of the shock value i will say but i feel like the the stories keep getting better and better i feel the transformations keep getting better and better and I love going on these emotional and physical journeys with the patients. You know, they're such brave people for coming forward and being photographed for a television show. But my roommates and I, when we watch the show, we always think to ourselves, how do they let it get so far? I mean, if there's one little thing wrong with me, I'm running to the doctor, you know, but right. it seems like a lot of these patients, this has been years and years of neglect or whatever their problem is. Why do you think they wait so long? You know, I think it's multiple reasons why people might wait so long. I think that some people just have this mindset of just grin and bear it because life is happening and it does, it's not that bad, you know? Like you have your own sense of normal and like if you've been dealing with it for so long, you may not have a fresh pair of eyes to say like, whoa, this is really bad, you know? Um, other, other times people haven't had the opportunity to get it addressed. Maybe they live in an area where there's not access to healthcare or a specialist like a podiatrist or foot and ankle surgeon to deal with their issue. Um, and then other times it just might be embarrassment. You know, a lot of times if you can, if you can cover it up, you can throw on a pair of pants and some shoes and nobody is the wiser, then we don't have to talk about it, <laughs> you know? So, and, and now all of a sudden, if you see this show on TV, you're kind of like, oh, well, maybe my problem can be solved. And then maybe you'll be inspired to, to go see your local podiatrist about it. Well, for this season, we have some interesting situations that come inside your office. And uh, we have a woman this season who has Olmsted syndrome. Tell me right. about that. So, you know what? We have a new doctor on the show, uh, Dr. Sarah Holler, and she's actually the, the doctor who's treating Olmsted disease. And so I'm, I too am excited to see what she does for this patient. <laughs> so I can't wait to watch along with you. But it was like stilettos or is that what? Uh, it looks like she has a permanent pair of stilettos, but they're like calluses on her feet. It's pretty bad. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and what's that foot condition that is so rare that only eight people have it? I mean. Yeah. So, I mean, it's very rare. I personally have never seen it, so I can't really speak to it. But like I said, the show is incredibly a learning experience. And so we, we see a lot of rare cases on the show and it's one of those things where it's an emotional journey and it's also a actual learning experience <laughs> and with the success of the show and and do you have you had fans that have written to you or say look i want to do what you do <laughs> you know what i have you know there's been like an outpouring of of young people actually who are like you know i never knew what i wanted to do 
this is it. This is my career choice. You've inspired me to be a podiatrist. I, you know, that makes, makes me feel really good, you know, especially because I, I want to inspire our youth to be helpful and make your stamp on the world and make it better. So I'm super happy about that. Yeah. And what I love about the show is that we go from the examination and diagnosis, and then we see you in surgery. So we see this complete journey from beginning to end with the patient. And I think the surgery is the most exciting part because I think you broke a rod this season or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So sometimes it gets a little interesting in surgery. You got to be prepared for everything. Um, so yeah, one of the instruments broke, but don't worry. I mean, it, it, it all turns out fine in the end, but you know, sometimes during the surgery, things get a little dicey. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dr. Vincent, congratulations on your new season. And uh, it sure looks like you have a leg to stand on. So that's great. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. Good luck with the new season and come visit us in Las right. Vegas. We'd love to have oh, you. Of course. I love Vegas. I will come visit anytime. <laughs> <laughs> Take care. Thank you. Take care. Thanks.